there's Buddy Rob again. <laughs> Good morning. So it is our second day in Edinburgh and we are starting things off with more food. Because if there's one thing we're good at, it's eating. But we're doing a little bit of walking to get there, so it's the perfect compliment this morning. We can't wait to get started. So Rob, what's the tour about today? The tour is basically about cruising through Edinburgh, seeing some nice sights, and trying some classic foods. All right, let's do that. Maybe do there's it. haggis on the menu. Haggis! First stop, the Itchy Koo. Let's go in. <laughs> Okay, so the first stop of the tour is at the Itchy Koo, and we are going to be having some haggis for breakfast. Are you yeah. ready, Sam? And starting off with the Virgin Mary, decided not to make it bloody. Because it's like 10 a.m., <laughs> a bit early to drink. Oh, that's very good. Okay, now let's try the haggis down here. And it's on, it looks like the, it's on a little cracker. Yeah, just a little bit <laughs> that is delicious. I haven't had haggis in probably about three years and so happy to have it again. So we had haggis at the first stop and you boys actually ate all of it. <laughs> Even my piece. So I had how two. was it? Rob went in for a double portion. It's what delicious and it tastes like stuffing at Thanksgiving. Yeah, I really there like it too. It's one of those foods that like you kind of get this uh, opinion of it that it may not be good. But actually the first time I tried it three years ago, I loved it right away and it was cool to have it again once again. Even for breakfast. So they gave us little earpieces so we can hear our guide through traffic and even if we trail behind a little bit. But I feel like we're channeling some serious FBI vibes down the Royal Mile. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, we are secret agents. That's, we've just been disguising ourselves as travel bloggers and vloggers. Yeah. We actually are secret agents. Our, our cover blown. So we've made it to our second stop today, Cranekin and Crowdy. Let's try some of these goodies. Yes, so we're starting off with some venison here. Ooh, with venison some oof sauce, oof. which I think is going to have a bit of a kick. Let's try that. Mm. That's delicious. Wow, a spice oof sauce is very oofty. <laughs> but in terms of the venison, it's got a bit of a gamey feel, but not too much. It tastes a bit more, kind of reminds me a bit of uh, pepperoni. Mm. Very delicious. Okay, so I'm going for the Orkney smoked cheddar. We're gonna dip it in chocolate, and this chocolate has whiskey, so. Oh my. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever had chocolate with whiskey before. Mm. That's a really good combination, wow. That's really tasty. I don't think you're gonna be able to have uh, plain old cheese just on its own again after that, huh? For a second. So that was Kranikin and Crowdy, and they have food, drink, and gifts from over 300 suppliers in Scotland. So if you wanna get you know, an authentic gift for a friend or family. This is a really cool place yeah. to check out. So this we are going to enjoy. Right now we are heading inside the Fudge House for a little something sweet. Let's do this. And fudge is one of my favorite foods. It also, is. we're gonna learn about tablet, I think. How much do you like fudge? I, it's up there. It's up there, all right. So being the fudge fanatic that I am, very excited to try this. This is, if you look down here, this is the Scottish Highland Cream. So this is one of the most traditional ones you can try. Just pop that in my mouth here. It's the kind of thing you just want to roll around on your tongue and savor for a long time. It's amazing, so creamy, so rich, flavorful, and of course very sugary. As part of the tour, we get to choose one bar to take with us and eat along the way. And they have over 20 varieties yeah. of fudge here, so we're struggling to You know what, this has been the hardest decision I've had to make all week. <laughs> Picking which one. <laughs> what flavor of fudge? So we've been having sweet and savory foods. Now it is time to enjoy some drinks. Let's go in. Are you thirsty? Better believe it. So 
So this is your little souvenir. Proud of my little souvenir from Campbellton Lock blended Scotch whiskey. So our little ginger Sam seems to be getting a lot of attention here in Scotland. Basically, I've been told I, I look Scottish. I am part Scottish. It's just I just have to keep my mouth shut. That's all. Yes, but they're loving your hair. That they're Canadian like, accent is uh, a little strong. <laughs> And if we haven't been feasting enough, it's time for lunch. We're having Scandinavian Scottish Fusion Smorgasbord. All right, this is Hema. Are you ready for Scandinavian oh, Scottish? Oh, I'm ready. The meal was fantastic. My favorite things were actually the herring and the beetroot salad and that's saying a lot because there were two other salmon dishes that I really like. Yeah. Now the only problem is we thought that was the last stop so we ate a lot and now we're stuffed and apparently there's still beer and cheese ahead so we gotta we'll make, make, some, we'll make room some room somehow. in the next few minutes. <laughs> So it is time for beer. Beer clock. And you are trying the ghost town, and this is from the northwest. Yeah, of so Scotland. it's a porter, and uh, let's give it a shot. And apparently, it has a bit of a chili infusion. So let's see if you can taste that. I do taste the slight, slight bit of that. It is. Very, it's a porter, so it's, it's kind of like a Guinness if you haven't tried it, and it's tasty and very refreshing after all that walking. So that is a wrap for the Edinburgh Eat and Walk Tour. If you're a foodie and you ever find yourself in the city, we highly recommend it. Absolutely.